empties video. I haven't done one since last year. I, I have to get straight into this video because I have a lot of items that are empty. And I got a lot to say about these items. So this is both an empties and a review video. My first favorite product that is empty is Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer. Bad dark circles under my eyes. Like, because I rub my eyes a lot, so I break the cells, the blood cells underneath, and it just causes like a bruising underneath my eyes from it. Plus, I used to not drink a lot of water, so that is really another reason why you can get bad circles. But this is the only concealer I noticed that really helps get rid of the appearance of them. I mean, sometimes, some days, you can still tell that there's, there's some still some darkness underneath it when you, I get lack of sleep. But like I said, Urban Decay is the only one that's really, really done a great job. And there is, this literally has never failed me. I can't think of one con or bad thing about this. It covers great. There'll be some days where I have to add a second coat to kind of really push it on, but it's very, very rare when I have to do that. I guess one of the bad things is somehow there's always product left at the very bottom of it and you can't get to it because it really doesn't get all the way there. So, other than that, it's, that's the only thing that's bad. So it's a great, great product. I definitely, I definitely say you should get it. Elf's Poreless Face Primer. This item is $6 at Walmart, which isn't terrible. Most poreless primers or face primers or anything to do with poreless are more expensive. I have another one down here that is three times or four times more expensive than this one product. It's very cute looking. It looks like it's a full product, and it, and it really it's a, it is an illusion. That is the problem. This looks full. Uh, when you put it on your hand, it kind of has a pinkish tint to it, and when you imagine it, the bottle being full, it kind of would look like this. So that's the thing that fools you. It's the best part because when I put it on my face and hid the pores that I had with the really bad ones from around my nose. It hid the pores. Like the skin looked like the makeup looked flawless on top of it. It looked flawless. And I have a hard time with a lot of other products. Say they do that and they really don't, you can still kind of see the indents of the pores. It for some reason stopped working. I know I didn't use it enough to get this entire bottle empty. I mean it didn't look empty. I mean, for anyone who knows about the secret, <laughs> probably think I'm an idiot. But it stopped coming out. I was like, what is going on? Because I have its foundation and it did the same thing. And I was like, well, maybe it's this part is just broken. So I started from here and I started turning it, started turning it, and what? 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 I, you look inside of this, the little thing that holds the product is all the way up here. And it's this small. I'm not shitting you. It's this small. So I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I opened up this one, hoping the guy maybe I'm just seeing things. That that is the tube that you get the product out of. That is the opening, and you can stick your finger in it, and that's how far it goes. My nail is touching the bottom of it. And this is what they sell you for six dollars and they made an illusion that it was full and that's what really hurts my feelings because I really thought I was buying a full product. This is literally sample size of any product and when I found out about this I almost flipped everything in my room. I, yes, I spent only six dollars on it but when you make it look like this at least fill it up like this and if you have to add a couple more dollars to it then freaking do but don't Fill it up like this, make people think that it's broken and it's really just, it doesn't have its fucking thing to continue and it's only like, may high. I mean, come on, that's that's a dick move, Elf. I love your products, but why? Why are you doing this to me? And this is my favorite product and I didn't even remember it was $6 until I went back to get another one. Regardless, it tricked me. <laughs> I was like, am I really gonna spend $6 on a product that's this small? maybe this small. That small. Six dollars for that amount of product. You can literally, I don't, I will probably go back and be dumbass and buy another one of these because of how well it works. However, it's just like, do I really want to fight with this product every single time? That's what really ticked me off. Alf, you and I are gonna have a big ass fight. We're gonna have a fight. I love you company, but we'll have a fight. Moving on, because we have a lot of products to do. Too Faced Prime Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. As you can 
So I use it a lot because the Too Faced that's on here is literally gone. There is, you can't see Too Faced. There's really nothing wrong about this. It's tinted to a skin color and it doesn't really matter since you're covering up with a foundation anyways it does a great job not as great as elf but it does a great job i still use it a lot and i apply it i apply it to my entire face covering mostly my nose because that's the problem there uh it can be a little bit dry you know i don't notice so it's you gotta kind of be aware of that make sure you put your moisturizer on beforehand and make sure the moisturizer dries fully and then apply this and it does a pretty much great job Moving onwards. Elf's Illuminating Eye Cream. Uh, Elf recently came out to my Walmart. I didn't have it before. This is my Walmart where I live with these face product stuff. They have like face illuminators, they have moisturizers, and they have this eye cream. And like I said, I mentioned before, I have really dark circles. This is an Illuminating Eye Cream. Uh, I use it every morning, every night, and right before my makeup. It didn't really illuminate my eyes, it didn't help my dark circles, it just helped with moisturizing before I applied the makeup. That's the only thing I noticed it did. It does give you a fair amount of product, it is completely bone drying there, but it was filled up to the top. So this product obviously didn't lie to you, and I think this is only about 5 or $6. The only thing that really did is it hydrated, which is, it does say it helps hydrate. And it's supposed to minimize appearance of dark circles and puffiness, which it didn't do. So it just, it hydrated my eyes, my underneath my eyes, before I applied more makeup and concealer to it. That's the only thing I really benefited with. It didn't help my eyes, right? Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Erasure for Dark Circles. This eraser is supposed to get rid of dark circles also. It doesn't do as great of a job as the Urban Decay Naked one. But on days where I'm super lazy and just want to do quickly my makeup, I just kind of shove this under my eyes, do a second coat after I pat it down with my blender, and it does an amazing job at brightening underneath your eyes. It's so as to get rid of the dark circles. It does, but you have to kind of add a couple coats, at least for me. For a lot of people, it does, it does it instantly. For me, since I have a little bit darker circles, it takes a bit of adding. Uh, it does run out pretty quickly, like you can get this and use it, most of it up within about 2 or 3 weeks if you use it every single day. That's the only thing that's bad about it because once you pull it up it dries pretty fast and so the product doesn't go on your skin and tugs instead. So you want to really turn it until it gives out more of a liquid so it doesn't do so much tugging which can cause some problems for your skin. That's the only thing that really makes it go down super fast. This is my second one already. I've been used. I usually use this, like I said, when I'm just having a really lazy day and I still want to use my more expensive products. Onward! L'Oreal's True Matte Super Blendable Makeup Foundation in W5. It's a very. It gives a kind of almost a dewy kind of look to your skin until you apply a matte cover to it, etc., etc. It does an amazing job covering. You don't need much to cover your face. They have a lot of different colors for it. It works wonders. I use it all the time. And the great thing about this is you can reuse the bottles a lot for other things, like crafts or other liquids. You just gotta make sure you wash them out. It's really good. I can't think of a bad thing about these products. So I'm not gonna even try. It uh, it doesn't even dry out my skin very much. I mean, maybe sometimes when like I'll crack in some areas, but that's if I'm really laughing a lot during the day and it starts cracking anyways. You just gotta gotta smooth out your skin. So that's the only thing I really did notice. It just kind of it doesn't get into the, the cracks of your face as well. But a lot of things don't when you start laughing a lot during that day. Makes turnaround overnight revitalizing moisturizer. Love this. You just apply it at night, and it's a sampler size because I got it for free when I bought one of Clinique's items. I put it on in dots on my face. I usually put one here, 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 and then here, and then I just kind of put it around my face like that, and it would cover your face with just a little dot. So you didn't need much of it, and it lasted a very long time. But my face felt so soft afterwards. I was like, I can feel my face all night after this. It just felt so soft. I don't know if it's supposed to do anything very specific other than moisturize. It doesn't say anything. So I really can't say anything bad about the product. It other than it ran out and I have to go buy another one. But it lasted a very, very long time and it 
Like I said, I can't think of anything bad about this product since it did what it said it would do. It moisturized my face and it made it feel soft and it didn't over moisturize it where you felt oily at one point. It just, it was perfect. X Fix Plus and NYX's Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I can't say anything bad about these two products and I can't tell a difference between them either. So I guess it can be a dupe also. These are both setting sprays. You can use them before and after applying your makeup. You can even use this Max any time in the day for any reason to help moisturize your face. This is just the sample size. I bought it because I was more originally using NYX's products. I also use it to apply onto my brushes before applying onto my eyeshadow onto my eyes. It helps brighten the colors, but I also do it with NYX. These two products are literally no different from each other. I feel no different when run wearing one or the other. It doesn't act any different. It doesn't seem any different. Both are just as long lasting. So if you don't want to pay the expensive fee of Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus, NYX is uh, either one of them, the, the matte one or the long lasting dewy finish are great products. They both feel great on the skin. They both don't cause me irritation. And they basically do the same job. I literally can't, neither does less than the other. So a good, you know, dupe for Max Fix Plus, I will have to say is Nix's products. So these are the last items. I'm sorry this review empty video was so long. I just had a lot of products and I wanted to share my opinions on them and the reviews on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe, please leave comments and likes below. I love you guys to death and I hope that I didn't take so long in this video. Bye.